Hey guys, it's Holly and welcome to the Proper Pineapple Podcast, episode number 31. Um, that was a lot of peas. I'm sorry. So as I just said, I am Holly, your host. This is a crochet, knitting, and sometimes sewing podcast, although today all we have is crochet and knitting. Uh, and a little side craft that I did finish. We'll talk about that in a second. If you're looking for me on the interweb, you will find me as The Proper Pineapple. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, The Proper Pineapple. Um, Ravelry, you can find me as Miss Proper Pineapple. On Lovecrafts, you can find me as Holly Miller, which is my name. Um, and links to all the places you can find me on the internet are down below. Also, my email is thepropperpineapple at gmail if you want to get hold of me. Talk to me if you're a maker and you want to like donate for a giveaway. I do lots of giveaways. Um, or if you just want to say hi, that's a great way to get a hold of me. I am so excited to finally be podcasting. I've just been so busy. Things are just crazy for me this time of year, but I'm super excited. So, um, before we get into stuff, I do want to talk about a little bit of channel news. It is December, and as you know, I did not um, have a December giveaway. That is because I will be doing the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway starting on December 12th. So there will be a big giveaway. All of the rules and how to enter and all of that will be talked about on December 11th in a video I have coming out then. I am sorry if it's really loud outside. We live kind of near a very busy road and it's quite warm here today, so I have the windows open. We just have to roll with it, you guys. Sorry. Uh, at the end of this video, I will be announcing the winner of the Baby Blankets Are a Blessing Cal that I hosted over on Instagram for the month of November. Actually, it was September, October, and November, I believe. Also, and also November's giveaway winner will be listed at the end of this video. So, stay tuned, y'all, for that. Let's hop right into it with finished objects. I don't normally do those because normally I do finished object videos to talk more about them, but I do have a finished object and I just can't wait to show you guys. Let me pull it out here. If you guys remember, I was making a kind of like a mandala, just circle decoration that I wanted to put on a hoop to hang on my wall. Actually, on this wall right here behind me, like it's, anyways. So I finished it, I found my hoop and here it is. It's really big, you guys, but isn't this pretty? So, so pretty. Look, cover my face. That should be the thumbnail, right? Or <laughs> Here, we'll just do a thumbnail. There we go. That's the thumbnail, you guys. All right, anyways, but you already know that you saw it. So, from the yellow area, I followed a pattern on Ravel, or um, Red Heart Yarn. And then when I get to there, I kind of just decided to do my own thing. And then I just kind of went however I wanted it because I wanted it a little different. I didn't want it to look like everybody else's and I love it. And then I found a huge, I believe this is in, I don't think, I think I got rid of the sticker. I want to say this is an 18 inch hoop and I love it. It's so, so pretty. I used Red Heart Yarn Super Saver Stripes in the, I think Parrot Stripe is what this one is. I love the way this turned out and it looks so great on my wall. I had to take it down to bring it and show you guys because I totally forgot I didn't show you this thing. I love it. I want to do more to just decorate the house and have more just decorations around my house. Um, I'm looking for my three projects. Give me two seconds here. Okay, there we go. So, sorry, they fell on the floor, you guys. <laughs> okay, so the first project I want to show, we're going to talk about knitting first. I should tell you that. We're now into works in progress. So in knitting, the first project, the children are playing with Play-Doh right over there. So <laughs> if it gets loud, kids. But that's how it is with the proper pineapple. The children are always here. Actually, the hubs is not here right now. He's at his dialysis treatment. So I don't get to talk to him. You guys know I normally just talk to him. He'll usually sit right off camera and I ask him questions. Nobody to answer my questions. But my stitches, my, my one-eyed Cornish Rex cat is laying on my lap right now cleaning himself. He's so sweet. But anyways, my first knitting project is an oldie but a goodie. It is in my wonderful llama bag here by Chasing Acorns, my friend Kim. I love her bags. I've got a whole bunch of them. It's such an adorable little bag. Um, I don't have it printed out because, or do I have it printed out? I do, but I don't think I have the picture because I was trying to save ink. Oh, I do have the picture. So here's the picture of it. It's this kind of bias shawl with these like little toothy details along one edge. 
it is a paid for pattern so i can't give you like too much of it but i am using this yarn that i got forever ago two years ago when i was up in petoskey michigan it is this beautiful balabrigo i it's their single ply so i don't remember what um i want to say rios maybe but i remember these but the color is called diana and it is so um like autonomal i i really think it's very folly and it's really really pretty and for my birthday that year so that was 2018 yes the beginning of 2018 in april because april's my birthday month anyways um a lovely friend jennifer gifted me this pattern the hitchhiker pattern is what it's called and i instantly cast it on and got all excited but the problem was it was april right and we were heading into spring and i was really in like a springy mood like bright pinks and yellows and i cast on this beautiful autonomous colors well i did very little and then I, it got put in its bag and it sat there for over a year now because almost two years because i totally forgot about it i was working on bright and colorful things instead well i don't remember what reminded me to get it out but i got it out the other day and i was like i'm loving this and so i started working on it and i'm super excited because i've got quite a bit done okay so this is how like long or wide it is right now it's kind of falling off these needles i have but let me show you the toothy edge I have well you know it'd probably be better i don't want to drop stitches if i hold it this way so the tooths hang down i have done all of this so i started here so when i last showed you guys on the podcast i was right here where this little stitch marker is i had done let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve little teeth is what i call them and now i have done all of these teeth just in this past week that I've been working on it. You guys, look at this color worked up. Let's see if the camera, isn't that beautiful? All the striping, it is so, so, so pretty. I am really excited. I have special plans for this shawl. I can't talk about it right now, but I have a special plan for this shawl. And it is so super pretty. I cannot wait to get it done. I do not think that I have enough yarn. Um, so I think I have enough yarn to make it as big as they call for. Let's see if I printed. I did not print the um, page that had everything I needed in it. But I believe hers has 40 some teeth is what I called it. I believe I'm probably going to get 30 some. So I think instead of being a full shawl, it's going to be more like a little shawlette. But I still think it's worth it and beautiful. Oh, isn't it just so pretty, you guys? So pretty. And it... Ew, it's stunning. I cannot wait to get it done. And Malabrigo, man, they're, I love their yarn, you guys. I really do. Look at this. It's so soft. It's going to be beautiful, isn't it? So I'm working on that. I don't remember what size needles these are. I actually got these at a Goodwill, so I don't even know what brand they are. And they have teeny tiny writing on the cord, and I don't have a clue. But I know they're whatever size the pattern called for, which, again, I did not print the top page. I don't know why. I guess I was being cheap that day. Oh, I will tell you. So when I started this pattern, I was pulling from the center of the ball. And then when I got this back out a year and a half later, the center, it had been compacted together so much. This is single ply, it almost kind of felt it in on itself. So I had to cut it and then start working from the outside. So that's why I have these tails here, which made me sad because I don't like weaving in tails. I really don't. I'm not, I'm super great at weaving in tails on crochet not so good on knitting but practice makes progress right but that's why those tails are there but i am really hoping the next time i podcast that this guy will be a finished object super excited about that guy loving it okay and now another project i've been working on for quite a while i don't remember when i cast this on i know it says on my ravelry page at least i think it says it but i think it was right after my birthday of this year so again april it's my birthday um, and it is in my favorite bag, this beautiful feather bag by Home Fire Ridge that she graciously gave to me for my birthday. Thank you so much. And I do have this printed out and I'm going to show it to you. I have been working on this a little here, a little there. Not a, I don't have a ton done, but I am pretty proud of myself and I'm going to tell you why. So this is the 
um, Birds of a Feather by Andrea Mowry. It is done with a fingering weight and a mohair. Some people do matching, some people do contrast. I did matching. I am super excited. So, so my, my yarn is by Iron Wheel Farms and it's in their Holly Bait color, which is a stunning, come on, focus camera. There we go. Stunning hot pink and purple that I just adore. They made that for me. And then my mohair is this beautiful hot pink and purple by, um, I forget, it is Stitch Together Studios and the color Boho. It's so perfect. Well, I made it to, this is how much I have done, let me, I don't wanna mess this up, hold on guys. I am about to be casting on, I think I'm, maybe I'm in the middle. No, no, I just finished the first lace section. The last time I showed you guys this pattern, I had finished um, the first, set, the setup section, the first mohair, the second section, and I was in the middle of this mohair here. Look at how pretty this is, you guys. I don't know if it's gonna, there we go. Isn't this so pretty? And I did my first ever knitted lace section here. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited. Just super, super excited, you guys, to get this done and, uh, so I am going to be working a lot more on this now that I have made it past. I was really nervous because I've never done knitted lace before. I was like, complicated. It's not, you guys. It's not any harder than just knitting. You just read the pattern and do what it says. <laughs> so I love this and I cannot wait to get this done. All the hot pink and purple. I'm going to wear it all. I have a hot pink and purple dress and I'm going to wear all the hot pink and purple and just be this big hot pink and purple monster running around town. I love it so much. So soft. Okay, but guys, working with mohair, no joke. For starters, so tiny. It like kills me. And then I get mohair all over the whatever outfit I'm wearing. So don't wear a black shirt and work on this because mohair just all over you. But it's worth it. I love it. And I am using my interchangeable Licky, Likey, L-Y-K-K-E, Licky needles. They're uh, driftwood. Love it so, so much. This was a gift from my husband for my birthday. He bought me the whole set. I use these for anything I possibly can because I absolutely love it. So, again, I don't know how long this one's going to take me because I believe I have another... Let me see. Oh, I never put the hitchhiker back. Let me see where I am. So I just finished the first lace section. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve more sections counting the border to get this pattern done. It's not a hard pattern. It's definitely a little con time consuming, but I am excited. It's going to be gorgeous. And it's the birds of the feather and it's in my feather bag. It couldn't be more perfect if you ask me. Put that back here in my little trash can. I keep all my projects in. Okay, my next project I'm super excited for because I literally just cast this on just a week or two ago and I've just been feverishly working on it. Okay, first off, it's in my bag by Kim from Chasing Acorns. My mother bought me this at the Ann Arbor Fiber Festival one time when we went. Thank you, Mommy. It's one of my favorite bags. Um, the yarn I'm using was a gift from my friend Jennifer again, and I do not see the label in here, but I know I put it in here. Oh, no. I seem to have lost my label, which is a huge problem because I wanted to keep that label. Oh, there it is. Phew. Okay. It is Gnome Acres, who doesn't dye yarn anymore, but I'll put it up there anyways. Gnome Acres. And then... I'm not sure about the color name. It's either called No Place Like Gnome or House Gnome. No, the yarn base is House Gnome and the color is No Place Like Gnome, which I adore. This is the skein and this is all I have left. I've been working, I'm not done. Come on, focus, there it is. So pretty, it looks like a box of Crayola crayons which I love. And the knitting needles I'm using are my 
Clover uh, US 3s on a 16 inch cord. Pick up all that. And the pattern I'm doing, I don't have it printed off because I didn't need to print it off. Um, it's a super simple pattern. It is a free pattern, so I can talk about it um, a little bit more than I can some of the paid for ones. It is called the Sock Head. Sock? Y'all, how come I just be forgetting the names of stuff? <laughs> so now I'm going to do like a YouTube bad thing and look it up here on my thing because. Oh, actually, no, I need to go to. I went to the wrong thing. I need to go to my. Oh! That my dog just made, okay. It's called the sock head. Bella, are you okay? That was a ridiculous noise. Don't worry, the children are over there. She's fine. It's called the sock head cowl by Kelly McClure, and basically, it's designed for you to use one skein. You want to come sit up here, Bell? Bell, come on, come up. Now my dog's up here too. It's designed to use one skein of sock yarn. So you know when you go to the festival and you fall in love with that one skein and you don't know what to do with it because it's too wild and crazy to stick in a shawl or a sweater or something? It's designed for that. So basically you knit a rib and it says to knit a rib for four inches. Then you just knit stockinette in the round and then you knit another four inch rib. So you weigh it to know how much you need. I did not want that much ribbing on mine. So here's mine so far. Isn't it so cute? You guys, look. Look at the way. It looks like a box of melted Crayola, doesn't it? So I did not do the four inch rib. It's the only thing I didn't do. What I did was 10 rows of ribbing. I just wanted this short, tiny little ribbon in here. So I have about maybe two inches of ribbing instead of the four. My camera's taking off. Instead of the four inches of ribbing, I'm totally okay with it. That's what I wanted. I did not want the four inches. So I weighed mine in, um, so I did my, how much ribbing I wanted. Then I weighed my skein to see how much was taken off. And now I know when I get down to that number, I will then just put 10 more rows of ribbing on and then I'll block this guy. And I can, I on an only 16 inch cord. So I can't try it on yet. I'm like, I want to try it on so bad, but I can't, um, but I'm loving it. Look at this. Isn't this stunning? I cannot wait to get this done. So super excited about this, you guys. And I have a feeling that once this guy is off the needles that I am just going to be putting another one right back on because it's so fun to do. You literally just knit in a circle. Go, 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 go around and around and around. Before I know it, I'll have like five or 10 rows done and I'm like, wow, that did not take long at all. I love it. There's no thought in it, no nothing. It's incredibly hard to mess up because you're just going in a circle. You're not increasing, decreasing, purling, nothing. And if you didn't want to purl at all, you didn't want to do the ribbing. So ribbing is like knit two, purl two, or knit one, purl two, or purl two. You know, you can do a lot of different ribbing combinations, but basically it's knitting and purling in a sequence to give you this ribbed texture down here. If you, the reason you do that is so this doesn't curl. Cause if you just knit, it will curl up on itself. But if you're okay with it curling on itself, you don't even have to do the, um, this, this, uh, what it's called ribbing. You could just let it curl, which would totally be cute. But I wanted to do it on this one, but some of them I might just go ahead and let it curl. Cause that would be cute too. So simple. Love it to death, you guys. Cannot wait to get this guy done. So super excited. Okay, so that is all of my knitting. I do have some knitting and stuff I want to cast on, but I want to finish at least one or two of those <laughs> before I do another one because uh, how much knitting can a girl do at once? I have a lot of crochet I need to work on. Okay, hold on. I okay, sorry about that. Had to fix the battery. Um, as far as crochet goes, I had some stuff I was working on and I stopped. I was working on this and my crimson hooded cardi, but my hook broke. But we're going to talk about all that in a minute when we get to close to acquisitions. I have two projects I want to cast on right now. And I am super, super oh. excited to do that. Um, you guys, it's killing me here. I cannot remember the name of this. So give me just two seconds here to look up the name of this pattern that I am about to show you the yarn I'm going to use for. I haven't gotten around to printing it out yet, which is just silly of me because why haven't I printed it out yet? <laughs> okay, it's called the Keep Breathing Shawl. I will put a photo right here. 
It's really, really pretty. When we were in Chicago, I forget which one of the yarn festivals me and Al were at, we each bought some Malabrigo yarn to um, make this shawl. I believe it was at Stitches Midwest. I don't think it was. Yeah, it was Stitches Midwest, not Yarn Con. And Bella, stop. Sorry. We bought yarn, both bought yarn. It takes two skeins of fingering weight yarn and we both bought yarn to do it. And mine is in my lumberjack bag that was part of my fall bags collection. Love this bag. The inside has logs. So much love. Oh, okay. Run! So I have got two of Malabrigo colors. This one here, it's, I would show you the name of it, but I'm be honest, I'm not even gonna say it correctly. It's one of their really pretty speckles that they have out. I don't know if it's going to pick up very well. It's so pretty. It's got pinks and reds and teals and yellows in it. It is absolutely stunning. And to go with it, I got a skein of their Frank Ochre color. This color is, if it's not a hot pink, this is my other favorite color. This stunning, stunning Frank Ochre. So I'm going to put these two together. Oh, you guys. And I think it's going to turn out just magical i cannot wait to wear this shawl i have a dress that's kind of this color and i think it'd just look just plain stunning with this i cannot wait so so excited for that so i will be i got lint on my nose <laughs> probably mohair from my project a minute ago i will be getting that on so the next time you see me in a podcast you will see all about this project that i am so excited to do um and i don't know if al started hers yet she got a beautiful a blue and a bluey that's not gonna sit there so I'm gonna put it over here a blue with a and then a bluey speckle that matched my speckle okay the next project is the I am NOT gonna say this one right the name of this shawl hold on uh, I know I'm not gonna get this right Ooh, let me see if I can find it though it is a beautiful shawl by uh what is her name i don't know why you guys i am so okay it is by deanne ramsey and it's called the majeure i'll put a picture here beautiful crocheted shawl and i was contacted by made that mohair is getting me made in america yarns and they wanted to send me some yarn to test out and try and i said great i would love to make the majeure i'm sure i'm saying that wrong y'all please don't be bad i don't know why my kids keep opening the doors this podcast is going to be so noisy in the background. Anyways, so they sent me two skeins of their Wayfair, which is their 100% Merino fingering weight yarn. Sorry, something. Ouchie, my kitty's scratching me. He wants me to love him, not pack podcast. So I picked, picked two colors, and I picked the first one is this beautiful blue called the Briny Deep or Briny Deep. It's really pretty, just a beautiful blue. And the one I picked to go with it is this hot pink called Pink Elephant. So these are gonna be my colors. I'm going to do the body of the shawl in the blue and the trim in the hot pink. Isn't that just pretty, you guys? I love it, and it is 100% merino. It's so nice, it's really nice yarn. I absolutely love it, they were so, so sweet. This is in my like Unicorns in Space bag. I love this bag. That mohair is getting me in a second, Bruce. Okay, quick pet moment. We were there. Okay, so a friend of a friend's mother had passed away and gave her dog to her daughter. Well, her daughter just, it just wasn't fitting in the family and I fell in love with it. So they were so generous to give it to us. So I wanna show you guys really quick and we'll get back to my crochet and knitting. Our newest dog, this is, get her attention. This is Bacardi, and she is a 13-year-old schnoodle, a schnauzer poodle, and she has bonded with my son, Bruce, so she's off to follow him now. She doesn't want to play with me on podcast day. Um, so anyways, back to Made in America Yarns. They contacted me. They were so generous. I picked those two colors. They sent them to me. Then they also sent me a couple of these gorgeous duets that they have which I want to say is 50% cotton, 50% rayon. I'll have to double check you here. But one's this beautiful yellow, and one is this gorgeous pastel purple, and I already know what I'm going to do with these. You guys will just have to wait and see. So that was just super sweet of them to send extra yarn. 
and I cannot wait to get working with this yarn. It's a, the color is phenomenal, and I can't wait to get that shawl started. So the next time I podcast, that will be started for sure. So okay, now if you guys remember, I just said I was working on this, and I had to stop, and I had to stop working on my crimson hooded cardi because I was using my Furl's um, Streamline Swirl Cookies and Cream Hook that was a 4.5 and it was my only 4.5 and I dropped it and busted the tip right off of that. Look at that you guys. Busted. Gone. The tip is gone. But you guys were so sweet when I told you guys. You said Furl's has a warranty. So I got in contact with them and sure enough they do. They sent me a brand new hook and it is so pretty. It has way more swirls in it than my old one did. And I love it so, so much. It's just so pretty. So now I'm going to get back to working on my blanket. Back to working on my Crimson Hooded Cardi. So those will be coming very soon, you guys. Hopefully get them done. I know my Crimson Hooded Cardi, I had started the front panel. And I messed it up. So I have to pull it all back out. It just does not make me happy. But it is what it is, you guys. So that is all my projects I have right now. So what I want to show you guys now is mail that I got. I was super excited about this one. Um, Rose from Crafts by Thea Rose. I believe she has a YouTube channel too, and I don't think it's called that. Maybe it's called, I guess. Her Gmail is craftsbytheorose at gmail.com. She was so nice to send me this. She made me this adorable little breast cancer awareness pin. Just so pretty. And she also made me, actually she made me two of those. She made me these adorable crocheted earrings. You guys, okay, I've already worn these and I love them. I'm gonna put one on. They're so cute. I've actually, I wore them for the photos I took of my swancho pattern that I put out recently. I can't get it in my ear for some reason. <laughs> I'll try this ear over here. I don't wear earrings a lot, so sometimes my holes are like, no, no, we don't want earrings in us anymore. Hmm. Not going in today. All right, we'll have to work on that, and I'll have to wear them again. But I'll post some photos on my Instagram, you guys. They're so pretty and cute. I love them, and they're hot pink. So thank you so much, Thea Rose. They're so beautiful. Absolutely love them. I wear them. I will link her channel down below. Um, Again, as soon as I find it, I know I have it. So I will be linking that. I'm going to set these to the side. Um, and then I did get some stuff from some other people, and I was so excited when I got it. And my headband's falling back, but it's fine. The first one came from... Ugh, get the, it's a box, you guys, of stuff. Came from Sandra Tanner. Thank you so much, Sandra. Let me get this open. I don't want it to show your address. It did not. She was so sweet. So, she sent me a couple little things. She sent me a flamingo keychain. The hubs is going to be so excited about that one. <laughs> okay, I'll put it on my camera. She sent me this cute pineapple candle holder, which I love. It is copper. I love copper. And now I just need to get a big candle. i got to set this over here for now because I'm out of space in my tiny area. She also sent me some pineapple push pins, which you could always use for hanging stuff. Oh, flamingo and I think, yep, flamingo and pineapple lights, which are so cute. I think I'm going to put these up in my bedroom. I love them. They're so cute. She also sent me, let's see, these adorable little pink flamingo buttons. I don't know if that will focus on them or not. So, so cute. And a pink flamingo like handkerchief, which I will wear, so I'm totally gonna wear that. She also sent me a pineapple bucket and a pink flamingo bucket that I am going to use at the campground. So love those. And she was so sweet. You guys remember my October knit crate? I said all I need to do is get the green. She sent me her two skeins of green. So I'm super excited. I cannot wait to put those into some sort of pattern. Oh, and she sent me a pineapple keychain. Thank you so much, Sandra. That was so, so sweet of you. I'm totally going to use these. And then I got a package in the mail. Okay. I don't want you to see the address, so I'll show you the back. It was all Christmassy, and I opened it up. And hold on. Hold on, guys. Let me get the card because I want to make sure I say the right name. 
This is from uh, Joyce. I thought she had a channel or something, but Joyce, let me see. Swanson. Swanson? And she sent me three more of the green. Oh my gosh, you guys are so excited because now I have a ton of the green. And I have the purple and I have the white and I'm gonna make something amazing with these. I love them so much You guys are always so generous and loving. I love you guys so much the proper pineapple would be nobody without the proper pineapple people. I have to get out of here because the camera is literally dying again But remember tune in on the 11th to hear all about the 12 days of Christmas giveaway. It will be a blast I will um Oh, I got to tell you the winners of the giveaway real quick. Okay, so the winner of the um, baby blankets or babies are a blessing cow, which we did baby blankets and donating them is her name on Instagram is uh, special Becca. So special Becca. I'll put that down here. Congratulations. Um, I have to get your prize around, but get a hold of me on Instagram and I will get it sent out to you. And then our winner for November, I will pop her comment right here, is Debbie Siegel. Thank you so much for entering. Again, get a hold of me email or on Instagram and I will get your prize right out to you guys. Thank you guys as always for watching The Proper Pineapple. Sorry I'm rushing, but the battery's dying and I don't want it to die before I say goodbye. Um, so stay tuned for that 12 Days of Christmas giveaway, you guys. Bye.